So lasers are, are um, unique, okay, compared to lamps. Lamps um, emit in a full 360 degrees, okay, big angle, right? You know, they, they, they pop light and shoot light out from everywhere. Um, they also have a large, large area. Um, the arc gap, uh, we all know that uh, they have uh, a certain arc gap size. You put a smaller arc gap in, you can get more light through the system, but it breaks the lamp quicker, right? And you pay more. Um, lasers are the exact opposite, right? So they have, they emit from a very small area and they emit from a very small angle. When you have that, you can change the designs of your system to take advantage of it. And it's all about efficiency, okay? Not redesigning a system for the particular source is, is, is like trying to stick a, uh, a Ferrari engine in a Yugo, right? Um, it'll go faster, but it won't do what you really could get out of that engine. Polarized emission. Okay, so xenon lamps are unpolarized, um, meaning that it's like <coughs> structured light. They have, um, it emits in a nice broad uh, flat wavelength range, which is great for being able to select out the colors, but it also emits in, in, a, in unpolarized manner. Well, in many of the projectors, if it's an L cost projector, you need to have polarized light and you throw away light to emit, you throw away xenon light to make it polarized. And for 3D, for most of the 3D systems that are out there, they use polarized light. And so you're throwing away light to, to get it polarized, or you're sticking in fancier optics to get it repolarized. Well, lasers start out polarized, and maintaining the polarization is, is a big attribute. So, so we maintain the polarization from the lasers from the beginning. Narrow bandwidths, okay? So spectrum, uh, the xenon lam lamps have a broad spectrum, very nice and flat in the, in the white regime, in the visible regime. Good to use to separate and recombine to make, make, make a projector, three color projector. Um, but lasers emit in very narrow wavelength spans. So you have red, green, and blue colors. Um, in, in the case of the lasers we're using now, they're, they're approximately one nanometer in width. So you can get extended gamut from these very easily by selecting them for, far out on the color triangle if you've ever seen the color triangles. And we'll, we'll show you a little more about that. Um, biggest thing, long operational lifetime. Now, xenon lamps, they have an arc, they have a plasma gap that wears over time. And we all know that the early time is a big wear zone, right? So you, so you have this big drop off, and then it kind of stabilizes down. Um, but one of the issues with that is, OK, so you're, you have to size your projector for after the first hundred or so hours, okay, after this big drop off. Well, lasers are solid state devices, and as most solid state devices are very stable as long as you cool them properly, these lasers operate very flat, so your power level remains very fixed over time. And this is a long time, so 30,000 hours plus. Um, my, my, my take is that with proper cooling, you should be able to get the lifetime of your projector, say 10 years out of these without, without a change. That's a big difference, right? No longer throwing away uh, lamps all the time, no longer having all these service calls, just being able to operate and operate consistently without having to substantially oversize your, your projector. Um, safe. And this is one of the issues that has been raised about, uh, about lasers from the beginning is, well, okay, uh, lasers are dangerous, and these are high power lasers, they're dangerous. Um, well, we've addressed that in the, in the architecture as well. Um, and in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that we have uh, preliminary FDA approval for commercial, commercialized uh, systems in your theaters. So we're already set in, in safety. But in this case, it is safe. It's as safe as a current, as a current xenon system. Uh, you don't stick your hand in <coughs> the xenon system near the, near the arc gap either. So, you know, I mean, there are things that you have to be careful of. But, but it is as safe as a xenon system, in fact, safer because you don't have the risk of exploding bulbs. Um, the architecture uses DLP. I know uh, uh, on, on the forums that I'm reading here and there, there's questions about you know, what we're using. We're using DMDs, and there's a reason for that. Um, DMDs can handle the, the light loads. They're very stable devices. All the electronics and software and all of that stuff has been wrung out 
okay, and is reliable. And there's nothing worse than unreliability of the primary imager in your, in, in your product, okay? So we're using something uh, that basically is already proven in the marketplace and is stable and reliable. And um, we'll also cut down on the commercialization time to market, okay? So uh, the laser source is, is um, the new technology. Uh, everything else um, is, is, is new stable.